Alright, so we're going to like get to the next phase of development here with these little dealies. Alright, and so the next part is we got this uh, crochet hook that we've filed off with kind of like a little point on the other end of. And that is for the purpose of this just makes everything so much easier. We put the, the crochet hook in that. And then we've got our Dealy. And you take this and you go underneath one of the axial points, you know, sort of like on the North Pole thingy there, or the South Pole if you're <laughs> in the Southern Hemisphere. And so then you take this in here, and you tie a little nice knot, it's kind of like, you know, a good one, and then you tie another one. So about these little knots, you know, they get all tangled up and how they maintain the coherence of the tor torsion field. Right, so you got that little knot on there and then, and then this little loop is kind of coming through and you just take the knot and slide it on there. And then you just kind of, you know, pull it down more so that it's kind of in there really good as far as it gets to go. That's where we're going, man. We get better. But the question is, is this how far? Alright. And then, so you have that little knot on there like that. And then you snip that off. And then you have a nice little thing that's like, and because that uh, dental floss stuff really works hard. So, we want that. Alright, so then the next thing is, this is that we have to attune to the right wavelength for your uh, morphogenetic field. And so, and so we have the, the koi, you know, string hanging up somewhere. And so then, well, like, how long do we want to make it? All right, so there's this whole resonance with the uh, embodiment of the celestial melody as it manifests itself. In the, earthly embodiment and that wavelength I have determined to be the length from the ground leave the koi on the ground kind of like just sitting you know resting gently on it and then uh, this is coming up and then the point at which we curve this over the finger is the one in which uh, the belly button is pointed to See, and, that, and then that, that's the perfect length for your structure, you know, in the sacred geometry of your bones and, and your heart song and all of that. Okay, so then take that little thing like that, and then we make a little loop knot like this. Okay, now here's the tricky part. See, we got that all nice knot too tangled up. All right, we have this little thing here, but now this is important. See, when you put it over the finger, like this. What we want to do is, is we want to take that knot and we want to snug it down pretty good so that, you know, at first it's sort of like hard to even get the finger in there and then it'll stretch out a little bit, you know, when you throw it around. Over time, the more you practice, the more it'll kind of like, you know, snug it down. And then when it gets, it gets loose, you just kind of pull it back this way. And then you take this thing here, this end, and we tie a little knot like that to add a little cohesion to the uh, thing. You just string that all the way up and make it snug. So, and this is on. See, you don't want it to just go over easily. You want it to kind of, you have to, you know, make sure it's on there because, man, you don't want these things going on. If you're dancing with fire, I mean, right now we're just practicing. But, you know. Yeah, and then you snip this off right here, like this. And there we have one really good boy that can take a lot of punishment. I mean, you know, these things can get beat up pretty good and they hang in there. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good deal there. Alright, well, um, hope you have a happy dance because, um, you know, relishing the nectar of the presence.
in the matrix. In the entwinement is very, very pleasurable. So we'll see you in the matrix. Hmm? Alright. Get this.